Current Events, Idaho Senator Mike Crapo. Thanks for joining us, Senator. Great to be with you. All right, let's talk about the GAO's report on the A-10 and, and how the Air Force has been dealing with that situation. They're pretty pointed, saying it seems like they didn't do their due diligence. How does that happen? Well, I think it's pretty clear that this decision was budget-driven rather than driven on the basis of the technology. Uh, we have overwhelming indication that the A-10 is the preferred close air support airplane that we need to keep in operation until we have a different air platform to replace it, like the F-35. And the evidence of that just keeps mounting. That's what the GAO is showing. Even the, the um, Department of Defense officials are acknowledging quietly that they're doing this because they have to because of budget pressures, not because of decisions about what's best for our national defense and for the protection of our troops on the ground. Okay, I see. So definitely budget driven. Now, uh, the GAO report, how much does that help you moving forward in trying to keep this plane around at Gowan Field and other bases? It helps a lot. I mean, frankly, we have been fighting a strong fight and making progress. And as indicated in your story, uh, we have been able to win this year. We won last year. But we need to win on more than just a year to year basis and make it clear that the decision needs to be pushed back, like I said, until the Air Force can show that it's ready to bring a new platform into operation. Like the F 35, of course. Yeah. Let's talk about uh, national news, the uh, Supreme Court ruling on gay marriage. A lot of people saying, look, this is legislating from the bench. Um, others say that's just what people say when they lose. Um, what, <laughs> what's your thought on that? I, I'm on the former side. I, I, you know, the Supreme Court has issued a couple of really disappointing decisions in the last 10 days. Uh, the one on Obamacare as well as uh, this one. Uh, look, the bottom line is the Supreme Court should be interpreting the Constitution, not essentially, as I see it, creating new law. Um, international news, <laughs> I mean, most people in this uh, country not thinking about Greece very often unless they're planning a trip. <laughs> right now, Greece is on the verge of uh, really going over the edge economically. Why should we care in this country? And, and if we should, what can we do? Well, we should care for two reasons. The, the first reason is because what happens in Greece is potentially going to have economic ramifications for other countries around the globe and will just create more fiscal and financial problems around the globe. But more importantly, we in the United States should care about it because it's a, it's a signal to us. Our own fiscal policy to is totally out of control. Our national debt is $18.5 trillion today and screaming ahead uh, faster than the, the clocks can tick it up. And the reality is that the United States should look at Greece and see its own future if we don't fix our fiscal policy. Senator, lots more to talk about, but uh, we're out of time. Thanks so much for coming in tonight. We Thank appreciate you. it. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it.